Hello, my name is Benny Harris. I own Harris Supply Company. I am the Wilson Livestock Aluminum Trailer Dealer for East Tennessee. And today I'd like to show you some features on our Ranch Hand Series Aluminum Livestock Trailer. We'll start at the front of the trailer and we'll work our way all the way around and come back. If you notice the front of our trailer, the, it, this is an aerodynamic trailer. You have a five foot wide uh, nose here in the front. And as an option, if you want, we can put you your sign right in here that would have your name on it or whatever your desire. This is a nine inch tall sign, 30 inches wide, and it would be LED lit. Now, the wiring will be tied into your marker light, so anytime the light comes on. Now, your, your lightest sign will, will come on uh, anytime your marker's lights are on. And also, there'll be a switch over here on the side that you can have your marker lights on and turn this light off here. Now, on any aluminum trailer, we have to use a, a steel coupler system to mount into your aluminum trailer. Of course, we're running a standard 2 and 5 16 inch ball. It has uh, set screws here in it. It also has your coupling pin in it. And if you notice, uh, Wilson puts an extra ring around this coupler system to add strength and durability to your coupling system. Of course, you have your standard safety chains. Uh, they put a bar back here in the back that you can hook your clips to so they won't be dragging around and falling everywhere. They also give you a wiring diagram if you want to jerk the end of your cord away uh, from your truck. If you want to jerk that away uh, or damage it, they give you your wiring diagram right here to put it back in. Now, <clears throat> we talked about that this is a steel coupler system. And you can see that it, it wraps all the way around in front, comes all the way around, comes all the way to the very back, and comes down onto your corner gussets over in here. And you notice that this is uh, it's just full of pop rivets to how they secure these A-arms to your mainframe of your cattle trailer. Now, they run... Uh, angle iron from one side to the other here. This is a two inch angle iron. There's three of these run. It's pop riveted in. They weld them to this, tying their A-arms together. And then on your coupling system, you can see how much larger. This is quarter inch. This is four inch. Uh, this is a Z-bar of a sort. And that's four inches there. Now another thing Wilson does, and I don't know whether we can see it good enough or not, but when aluminum is rubbing against metal, you, you, you won't have an oxidation problem. Well, to relieve that problem, there is a black piece of rubber in between it, so we have no aluminum touching steel. There is aluminum uh, rubber tape in this here. Of course, they all come with the breakaway kit. Uh, you can see that they use a deluxe type of breakaway, and you can test it here. See, you push that. It tells you if it's fully charged. It needs to be recharged or it's charging. And then that's just a standard nice breakaway kit that Wilson puts on, on these trailers. And we go back to our wall here. This is your spare tar carrier. This comes as standard equipment on your trailer. This little box contains all your paperwork that would be in reference to... Uh, your tar manufacturing, uh, your axles, uh, your maintenance and care of, of your trailer. 12,000 pound spring loaded jack. When you have your trailer hooked up, pull that pin, that, that leg will jump right up there by itself. This is your crank system. If you notice, there's a grease alamite on this where we, you can grease this crank system. Your crank comes off and you store it right here or I like to store mine in my truck if you're just using one truck that's a good place to keep it for the reason that if, if somebody wants to try to steal it they're going to have to bring their own crank or something there's no crank to let it up and down uh, so <clears throat> that's the feature of that we've got two hooks here to run our wire in to hang our wire now this crank inserts in right here 
this like so and now the feature about our crank it's the same size as our lug nuts on our on our trailer so if you was to have a flat and didn't have a wrench this serves as a wrench for your lug nuts uh, on your uh, spare tar this is just the nose this is Wilson's 125th year anniversary this year so you know Wilson's been out a long long time and they are the same people that makes your over-the-road pot trailers you see where they haul uh, cattle in these big tractor and trailers it, it's, it's the same company and they also use the same technology they they take this technology that they had into their uh, big 53 foot pots and and they shrink it down we're using the same gauge roof as in these road tractors we're using the same gauge panels on the side as in the road tractor when we get inside and look at the floor it's the same gauge same quality and even our cut gate when, when we show you that, it, it's the same material that is in their big over-the-road uh, trucks. Of course, this is your corner gusset for bracing here. It's a, it's a big piece of metal. There's all your information, uh, facts about what, what the trailer is here. Uh, the next item is our escape door. Now, th this is a 33-inch door uh, as an option they offer a 50 inch door and uh, what that will allow you to do uh, especially on a 24 footer if you have two cut gates we can position one of them cut gates up here at, at 50 inches and that will allow you to run a four wheeler in there if you take a four wheeler to load cattle out somewhere if you need it that gives you the ability on these little four wheelers you can run that in there keep this cut gate here keep cattle off of it and then you have all the rest of the room to haul your cattle. Now, <clears throat> even the hinges on this escape door, we have grease alamites. Stainless steel washers and bolts. Your, your locking system here even has grease alamites. There and there. And then this is a clip to hold the door shut. And they're, they're designed if you put a padlock in these, if you so desire. The little switch here on your side, you can see it's in a weatherproof switch. Now on a 24 foot, there is two interior lights. Uh, on your shorter ones, they drop it down to one. But this is your switch that controls the lights on the inside. This little rubber grommet will pop out. If that switch goes bad, you can get in there to, to replace that. On your ranch hand series, standard is your, your walking boards here. And you can see that they extrude out, uh, get me a yardstick here turned right. They extrude out four and a half inches. They're ribbed for you won't fall off. And then even on the end of this, they don't leave a sharp corner there where you run your shin into. They, they round these corners off here, you'll see it here you'll see it on the back back there too to, uh, to help you with your raw edges. Now, the, the, the vent holes. In the Wilson Ranch Hand Series, uh, there, there is four patterns we can choose from. The large hole at the top will always be at the top, and then it's the number of the small holes that you get. You can get one, you can get two, you can get three, you can get four. Now, these holes are five inches wide, three inches tall, and then your taller one, your bigger one, we can see that they are ten inches wide and six inches tall. These are plain enough to get your hand in. And the reason I say that, effective March of this year, Wilson is going to offer another vent package on these trailers and that package will be a large vent here the two little side by side and then this big vent right here will be added right here now next feature is your rear axles and your fender assembly uh, we're running 102 inch axles this fender is nine inches wide covers your tars real good. It even comes with a factory mud flap 
back here and back. Now, the one of the nice features about this fender well, if you want to damage it or need to be replaced, this fender well is not welded to this trailer. Uh, if you damage one of these uh, uh, fender wells for whatever reason, you can you can grind your pop rivets off. You can see them underneath there. Uh, you this fender well will come off. I can order you a new one, and you can place it back on. It doesn't have to be that expensive welding to uh, to get these uh, fenders put back on. Uh, your axles and tires. Now we are running a 102 inch axle again, 7,000 pound Dexter, 7,000 pound Dexter Torque Flex axles. This is a 10 ply tar, eight lugs. Now, and this package that we see here, this is a 10 ply system. When when we run this this configuration here, this gives us a 14,000 pound GVWR. Now, as an option, we can put, uh, it'd be the same axles, be the same rims. We can put you a, a Goodyear 235-85R 16 Goodyear 14 ply. Now, when I put these 14 ply tires on it, this will give you a 16,000 pound GVWR as opposed to this package here, which is a uh, 14,000 pound. Now, if you can get his camera down here, uh, this flexible conduit here contains your electrical wires for your brakes. On a, on a Wilson trailer, there is no exposed wires anywhere. If, if it has a tendency to be exposed, it's going to be a conduit. So, what that is, if in mud or snow or ice, that would keep it from building up against a naked wire and pulling it out or damage it. So that, that is in conduit. Now, there's a marker light on the front and the rear of these, of these fender wells. And here again, even those little wires in here, they, they are running conduit. And then the conduit comes in here and runs up the form post right there. Now, on, on all of your uh, stock trailers that uses the silver mod rims, they will come with the dust cover to keep your lug nuts clean. A as an option, uh, if you want uh, a set of Alcoa aluminum rims, uh, we can apply that uh, to that also. Now, <coughs> I don't know where the camera can see it, but, but on any trailer, a 16 through a 24, this roof from the rear end all the way up to the front is a solid one piece roof. That, that roof is not spliced together or patched. That is a solid one piece. Now, it, it will be welded up over your nose because they got to cut the miter that to get it on a tapered nose. But any of them, regardless of the length, will be a solid one piece uh, construction. Now, your, your post. This is what all of our side panels are riveted to is these posts here. Now, this post is seven inches wide. This post right here. Rivets, two inches on center. Now, I don't know where the camera can pick it up, but uh, uh, you know, we, we, when you put metal on a barn roof, We, when you put metal on a barn roof, you always want to put that metal in there where the wind flows over the top of that, these little loops. You don't want a piece of metal hanging this way and the wind blow it. Now, if the camera can pick it up, on this form post, this piece of panel right here is behind that post. Wind is blowing over it. You get back over here, this panel is on the outside of this post. So the wind is blowing over that. Makes a real smooth trans. trans uh, from this point to that and what that is that allows uh, keeps the wind from trying to get in and rain and water from trying to blow in back behind your paddles are on that there uh, this this lever bar stainless steel bar uh, this is your outside cut gate release uh, if you have one cut gate or two if you'll put three uh, it will have all of these outside 
uh, releases on, on the on the trailer. <coughs> this we're going we're going to look at the rear end uh, of your trailer now. Uh, this is a business end of, of, of any trailer, as you can see here. And this trailer has your swinging door and a sliding rear door. Another, uh, and the actually it's not an option, it's the same price. It's still going to be a swinging door, but this door here rolls up and slides back in. That's something that you see like on these big road tractors. Either style, same price, your preference, doesn't matter. Now on, on the hinges of these doors, 10 inch hinge, three of them, stainless steel, they even have grease dessert fittings on each one, each one of these pitches. Now I'll show you here in a minute, but when we open this door up, this door is going to swing not only around 180 degrees, this door is going to go all the way around, come back around and touch that fender well right there. That's a real handy item if this door gets away from you and the wind gets hold of it. It does not damage or bend or do something to your hands mechanism system. Now, this trailer is equipped with stop turn tail lights in this top header. Of course, that is an option, but that is a feature that I highly recommend uh, because your ordinary placement is down here at the bottom. Now in city traffic or even out on the interstate, the first car can see that. It's that second, third, and fourth car we're worried about. Because you know when you've got 10,000 pounds of cattle in here, you've got to start stopping a whole lot sooner. So that second car and third car can see that you're stopping by the light to come on. Or if you need to change lanes, it's going to tell that second car on back what you are going to do. So that is an option that I highly recommend that anybody purchase when they get one. Now we can put more lights on this trailer again. We got the one here. Now we can put another one right here. So now we can have six stop turn tail lights. Or we can take one of these lights right here and put a backup light in it. Probably put the backup light down here, your other one here. Now that would give you four stop turn tail, but it also gives you a backup light. And that comes in real handy if or not if you're trying to unload or backing up to a chute with that backup light it is on. A as another option, they offer a load light and it mounts right here. And then that load light is encased in a aluminum housing that is tapered on, on the forward end of it so that when leaves comes across it or tree limbs or whatever or water, it glides over the top of that and it's not, it won't be jerking onto your work light and uh, trying to tear it off. Now, on our tailgate, the lever is tucked back in here out of the way. It's not over here to the side coming into something. Uh, some trailers, if you back up real close, if that lever's around here, if there's a post right here, then you can't get this lever system unlocked. Well, they put it back here where you can get a hold of that. It's on uh, cam locks like on your big road tractor. It locks there and it locks up there. This is a slam latch system here on this trailer. And so if you're loading cattle up here, and then all of a sudden you're wanting to get that real fast. There, there is your slam lock system. Tell me about this thing opening up. This comes all the way around. All the way around. Goes all the way around. It touches this fender well. So you can't get that thing hinged bound by the wind blowing and getting out of your head or a cow backing into it, hitting it or running on it something. Our little sliding door. Spring loaded. It's got a roll pin and you can bring this up and let it set on that uh, ledge right there. 
And uh, this thing is unreal how easy it glides. Now you notice it glides back past this forward post here so that cattle and stuff is not rubbing against this. They're more likely rubbing against that right there. Now, what this will allow you to do, uh, it may have come back out here so I can see this one will show. When you close this, you can do it, of course you may do it a lot faster, but bring it close, let your finger hit that right there, and now this is locked. It, it, it's real simple to work. You just bring it back, hit it, and now it's locked. And of course we've got it in a slam match system here now, but then you would use your regular locking system to, to lock that up. Now, this door. We've got good heavy rollers up at the top. They're encased in this aluminum housing. Rolls up there. It's a big nylon, big old, looks like a two inch roller up there. Next feature. Any of these doors has to have a guide to hold this bottom panel in place. Some, I've seen some doors, they use a piece of metal and it comes back up in here and it just glides in here, which, which is fine, works real good. Uh, the problem with it, uh, you have a cattle will step on that and, and bend them. I've had that problem happen before. Uh, if manure piles up in here, sometimes they get jammed up, especially in the winter. If, if this manure piles up in here, it will freeze that door in a certain place or then you have to ram it backwards and forwards to break it loose. What Wilson does on this, this piece of metal here works like a barn door track. Of course, you can't see it at the camera, but you see here when I stick my hand in here, my hand goes, my hand goes way up in there. And this guide rolls in there. So that alleviates that problem of, of manure backing up and it can't get in there to freeze your door open or close to give you problems because that is all tucked up in there. Now, another feature, we're, we run a heavy duty solid rubber bumper. It, it's not hollow, it's not real soft, it's a good heavy duty bumper. Now, if for some reason or another that this thing wants to get damaged and we need to replace it, you just unbolt it, we order you a new one, put it back on. Another feature, underneath this trailer, there is an aluminum skid pan. And what that does, if you uh, on your farm, if you're going through a disc, that allows this to glide over obstacles in here. It, it keep an obstacle from grabbing hold of this back channel on here and popping and breaking these loose. I, I've seen trailers at stock barns where all this is tore loose in here where they have done that. So they put that skid pan, that's part of your standard package there, and uh, uh, to alleviate the problem of skidding. Of course, here's your other end of your running board. It's got this aluminum uh, corner brace there. Now, the next feature I want to show you, uh, on any trailer that uses this type of door system, this corner and that corner are stress points on a trailer because when you swing this gate out that creates pressure. Now Wilson does not bring this corner post up here 45 it, bring this corner post over here and 45 it and create one well. To help this they have come up with this cast aluminum block and then we weld this corner post to the block we weld this header to the block, and then your rails coming down the outside is weld to the block. So now instead of just one weld, we have three wells in this area to strengthen this corner of this trailer. This is a real high stress point on these trailers here, regardless of whose it is. Stop. Now, as we go into a trailer, uh, we are running a, of course that's a standard auto, it, it's a diamond tread floor. It has your four corrugations that run the length of the, of the trailer. Uh, your metal is a thickness of your floor is .110 or eighth of an inch. Your cross seals are every 12 inches. As a option, we could put those cross seals every six inches. Or another option, 
We can put a flat floor in it if you haul horses or need to have flat. It'd be perfectly flat, no hump. And then your cross seals would be every six inches. Our next item is your cut gate. Now, if you notice when this cut gate is secured, it's tight. It, 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 you don't have the rattling of a cut gate vibrating. And how they do this, we've got a rubber bumper in here, and I'll show it to you in a minute. And then when you come up to this cut gate here, you do have to push in on it just so slightly to unlock this. It even has its own little handle holder for that. It is a slam latch cut gate. It secures the two points here and here. Stainless steel and aluminum to unlock this cut gate. Just raise up on this handle right here. That's right up. It's the same handle that we've seen on the outside. This particular cut gate here has an optional 30 inch slide. Another option is a 40 inch hinge door. This trailer is 24 foot. Uh, we just put one cut gate in this. Uh, you can put two cut gates in the 24, 22. Now, in this 24, with, with one cut gate, we have 11 foot, nine inch compartment up there and a nine foot, 10 inch here in, in the rear. Now, if we want to do two cut gates in this trailer, your front compartment will be six foot eight, your center will be eight foot seven, and your rear will be eight foot. And also, we can do another configuration in this 24 with two cut gates. Your front compartment will be five foot, your center eight foot six, and your rear nine foot ten. And then, if you drop your sizes down, they, they, they change. You know, a 16 foot trailer, your eight foot three in the front, a seven four in the rear. Uh, that was on a 16. An 18 foot trailer, your nine foot six in the front, and uh, uh, approximately nine or eight foot in the rear. Uh, your 20 foot trailer, uh, your nine nine in front, nine ten in the rear, and then the 22 footer, your 11 nine in the front, and nine and nine ten in the rear. Now this cut gate rolls on nylon rollers again. Slides real good. Uh, they use the same spring loading mechanism. Uh, you just pull that up there, lock it on that. It rolls. If you notice, it rolls back past your, your post here again so that it's not banging on it. You pull this together here, and again, you can get that real fast just like I did, and it will lock. Locking pin to lock this thing into position. A nice little storage spot to store it there, your pin in there. And then another feature that I like on this, and you notice I have my I lift this cut gate lift handle right here. If you look over here on, on this side, you have a, a lever to open it in here. And the reason for that, when you got this cut gate open, and if you're trying to run some cash in or something, and if this thing wants to accidentally swing shut it, it with an automatic catch, it's going to lock you in here. And if you're loading some cash by yourself, and if you're locked in here by yourself, and nobody to hit you, it's going to be hard to get out. So they offer this, they don't offer, that's standard on it, this lever system to unlock it from both sides, both sides of this uh, cut gate here. Now, we, we've talked about our cut gates. Now, as an option, they offer one more. Uh, they offer a floating cut gate. Wilson offers a floating cut gate. There, there'll be rails up here on top, rails up here on top, guide posts or pins at the bottom. And you can roll and position this gate in, in five different positions. Uh, you can put it back here all the way to the back. You know, it goes all the way to the front. Uh, it works nice if you have a lot of baby caves or if you want just, just a good ideal thing for a floating uh, gate on the features that it will have. Now, our nose gate. 
Uh, these uh, pins lock open. So now you just lower this down. It's even got a rubber bumper here to keep from uh, beating on your sides. Even got grease zerk fittings here again. And then you just raise this. And then these things, they just flop right down. Locks it. This trailer has a solid panel. Uh, you can get this panel with your hose in it. Or you can get this panel that's hinged right here. And then this over here. And then this will swing around like your doors. Uh, it's, it's just your preference. Uh, the same price on that also. On your escape door here, they put a stiffener on this. As an option, if, if you are an individual that hauls a lot of uh, big heavy cattle, uh, we put this stiffener down through here to stiffen up your, uh, your panels. We have a smooth interior wall. Now, some manufacturers, we showed you our post where we put ours on the outside. Some manufacturers will put posts down through here and then they weld these panels to this post. That creates, you lose your smooth wall, it creates all these posts down through here for cattle to bump up against, uh, for manure to pile up in these corners. Uh, some of them I've seen that even got boys back behind you almost stick your finger in and manure would get into that. And they're harder to clean. They don't have the smooth walls as this. And then Wilson embosses this with a material that makes them, if you wash and clean these trailers out, that they are easier to uh, clean because the mirror does not have a tendency to stick to it as bad with this in, in gloss and that's put in. Seven foot from the inside to the inside, not an outside measure. You've got a full seven foot in here. We lose a little bit right here because we have to run a fender well. You notice that the top of it is tapered, so when you're going to be piling up, and it is uh, a two and a half inch fender well sticking out at the bottom. That's the only thing that will stick out in this trailer, and this is that fender well right there. Stop. Okay, we, we've talked about uh, this trailer being seven foot wide. Now. Uh, Ranch hand, uh, Wilson makes three series of trailers in these livestock goosenecks. Uh, they make a stampede, a ranch hand, and a foreman. Now, the stampede is 81 inches wide, no fender wheel whatsoever, slick from front to back. 16 to 24 foot in length. The trailer we're looking at here today is a, is a ranch hand, seven foot wide, up to 24 foot, and it will have the fender well in it. E everything else is the same. It's not a cheaper series. It's just the width. Then they make the foreman. Now the foreman we can go from 16 foot to 32 foot. We can go from 7 foot wide to 8 foot 6 wide. And in former series, you can put on a lot of whistles and bells on that series there. Uh, just if they make it, basically they can put it on it. We was talking about these vents a while ago. Now, Wilson offers vent plugs for these in cold weather applications. You can plug up the big one. Plug up the small ones, plug up as many as you want to, and they offer that in some different colors, white, black, red, like blue, where you can plug up these vents here uh, on, on this ventilation. And uh, of course there is your dome light there, dome light there, 24 foot, two come standard. On your smaller ones, uh, one come standard, but we put as many as you want on it as, as an option. Now, the, the next item I'd like to talk about uh, is uh, that this is not furnished to me 
uh, from Wilson Trailer. Uh, this is from a salesman point of view, and it deals with torque, vibration, pressure points, and stress. Now, and those those items are are created by us just walking around in here. Uh, open your rear door or create rear door to create that. Uh, 10,000 pounds of livestock in the trailer will create torque and pressure and stress. Uh, one cow will do it, one bull will do it. In any factor, these will create stress. Then pressure and, and, vi and vibration. Now, when, when this is created, when we have this torque that's building up this energy, this trailer is not a flashlight battery in that it cannot store energy. It has to be released. Now, if you have a trailer that is solid weld, if everything is welded, where's that stress going to go? Well, now, stress and, and pressure and, and vibration, all of this will kind of carry the same qualities of electricity. You know, Electricity will run through the pipe or flow through the pipe of least resistance. Now, this created energy that we've created here by your torque and pressure, it has to be released. And, and if this is a solid well trailer, where's that going to go? Well, that's the problem. You don't know where it's going to come out at. It can come out in a, in a well. It can pop a well somewhere. It can be underneath these trailers somewhere. You just don't know. But in a Wilson, I can show you where these are. But we'll come back here. Now, I, I said even open the door will create some torque and pressure. And, and we discussed that. Wilson took care of that problem right there so it does not develop. So, where, where is the rest of it going to be relieved? Right here, every one of these. This is a pop riveted trailer. There is, in this 24 footer, there is over 2,000 pop rivets. Now, you and you're going to say, well, that, that's going to bust a pop rivet or, or it's going to come loose. Well, it doesn't. These things move just so slightly that you'll never see that they are moving, but they do. And this is how you relieve this pressure. Uh, uh, vibration, you know, hitting even hitting a pothole creates that. Now, one reason I know we don't have no problem on these, uh, I've seen and, and read about these little trailers here having over a million miles on these trailers, and the skins are stayed on and they're just as tight. So, to me, this is the secret and the longevity of a Wilson trailer is these little pop rivets on, on this trailer here. They do a marvelous job in keeping the structure and the integrity of, of this trailer together. I've showed you so, so many of the features on this trailer, and like I said a while ago, uh, if you have any questions that I'm not answered or not fully answered, uh, call me again uh, at the store. It's 423-562-2154 or my sale, 423-566-3385. And if, and if we look at the trailer, and when, when I decided to stop uh, be a uh, aluminum trailer dealer, uh, I looked at a lot of trailers, and I come up with the Wilson. Now, a Wilson may be a few dollars more, but the quality and the integrity stands for itself. We have testaments of these trailers having over a, a million miles on these trailers. Now, this trailer here, or any of the Gooseneck Trailer Series, uh, it's not an investment that you're going to put in and inspect 10 years later to have to uh, redo it over. You know, you buy this trailer and give it a little bit of TLC. You know, everything needs a little TLC. You buy that, your grandson will be taking this trailer to the livestock barn delivering cattle. 
this trailer is easy a 30-year investment they are they are that good and uh, I'm impressed with them uh, I love these trailers they're easy to pull uh, they are well manufactured the company's been in business for a long time they've been building these little trailers here some 30 years so they have got this down to a science uh, we appreciate your time I hope you enjoyed the video and then, like I said, if you want any pricing or questions, feel free to call me. Thank you. I hope you've enjoyed our video of our Wilson Aluminum Livestock Trailer. Uh, we showed you a lot of points, and if you have any more questions about our trailer or any of the products that Wilson make, uh, feel free to call us at any time. Uh, my name is Benny Harris. Call me here at the office at 423-562-2154 or you can call my cell at 423-566-3385. Thank you for your time.